Hello again, YouTubers, I'm at SpongeBob 101, back here again on the SpongeBob channel with the 2022 edition of our SpongeBob SquarePants DVD, VCD, Blu-ray, and Music CD collection. So I lost it one of these videos last year in 2021, and I was only planning on doing this once every two years. However, over the course of the last year, my collection has mostly stabilized. In fact, I've gotten all the titles that I've wanted to get from the United States. And so barring any future releases, this collection is pretty much complete in my book. So this is why I'm actually going to be going through the whole collection once again. However, if you guys want to hear some of the stories that I've told about each individual DVD and how they tie into my childhood and everything, you guys definitely want to check out the 2021 edition because in this video, we will be speeding through all of them. Let's take a look at a collection. As you can see, this is the same way we laid out the collection last year. Most of it is exactly the same. Going down to the second row, of course, we've got more of these Region 1 DVDs, a couple of Region 4 DVDs, and Region 2 DVDs thrown in. And then finally, on the bottom column here, we have the latest editions. You can see them right there, as well as the Region 3 DVDs and VCDs. And also, um, Australian Movie Blu-ray, as well as Sea Stories from Japan. So far, my music CD collection has not changed from 2021. As you can see, I still have six titles in this portion of the collection, starting off with the Best Day Ever CD that I purchased back from Borders when that was a thing in 2008. I'm not going to go through the insert, but it is a poster in there, really nice. So yeah, this is probably my favorite Spongebob music CD of all time. Of course, they could release a new one, but seems like they're really not doing that. Next up, we got Spongebob Squarepants Yellow Album, also purchased in 2008. And you can still see the residue on, this, on the seal security sticker there. So nothing too special about this one. Just has a couple of songs from the first three seasons, which is nice, but um, nothing too super crazy cool or anything moving on to 2009 we've got spongebob's greatest hits still has a sticker there includes new music from pink and CeeLo green this was released to celebrate the 10th anniversary of spongebob back in 2009 of course inside we've got a simple disc and the insert there which is actually a quite a cool uh, insert i did cover it i believe in last year's videos so and i'm going to go through that again and then SpongeBob SquarePants movie, music for the movie, and more, the soundtrack. So this is probably my second favorite out of all of these. But yeah, my favorite song, probably the Jellyfish song by the Jellyfish Band, although I really like Prince Paul's Bubble Party, and they'll soon discover it as well. Again, oh, yeah, so this CD actually has a broken case, as you can see there. So it does come out, but that is what the disc looks like. And then we've got um, actually a couple of stuff covering the songs in there. Okay, number six or number five is actually a still sealed SpongeBob SquarePants original theme highlights. Now you might be wondering why did I order this and keep it sealed? Firstly, it's because it's the very first SpongeBob music CD ever released. This was released back in 2001, as you can see on the bottom there. And I got this off Amazon a couple years ago. And unfortunately, it seems like the disc is out of the um, holder, but you, what am I gonna do, right? <laughs> All right, so that and this original cast recording, I believe this was from 20, yeah, 2017. So it's been quite a while, you know, the SpongeBob, SpongeBob SquarePants new musical original cast recording. I did keep the seal there just for fun, but I could, it, I did an unboxing video for this back in the day. So if you guys are interested, you can always search for that on the channel. Now, moving on to video CDs. My VCD collection, like in 2021, is exactly the same as it has been before. So I've got a total of 13 titles here, which I will quickly go through. We've got the SpongeBob SquarePants movie with, uh, I think this has a Chinese dub on it as well. If not, it's just like uh, Chinese words on it. So opening it up very gently. Now these cases are kind of brittle. So, you know, they could break at any time, but yeah, so that is the disc. It comes in two discs actually. So yeah, you know, back in the day, they can actually come in two discs. Can you imagine having two discs nowadays just for this? But yeah, those were the days in 2005. So going from early, going from earliest to 
latest. I do just want to point out I do have a double of SpongeBob Goes Prehistoric with the case broken. Uh, this was actually a freebie from one of the competitions back in the day. But yeah, so now the collection proper of the main episode VCDs. There are 11 individual titles that I have here. Christmas is the very first one I got along with the second one that I will show you guys shortly. But these, if you guys don't know what VCDs are, they're basically VHS titles for SpongeBob, but they were released on CDs. So yeah, the contents are exactly the same as VHS, just that they are on CDs. So the next one, Sponge Guard on Duty, I got with Christmas and this and Christmas actually kickstarted my love for SpongeBob SquarePants and made me a SpongeBob fan. So yes, very, very memorable stuff here. We go on to Anchors Away, Five Twisted Tales. So these do carry the titles of the VHS that they originated from and have exact same contents as I said earlier. So moving on, SpongeBob goes prehistoric for prehistoric adventures. Now in 2005-2006, um, this was basically the only way for me to get home video Spongebob or Spongebob on home video because back then DVDs weren't really a thing until 2006-2007. That's when they started taking off and then in 2009-2010 for the 10th anniversary, they started releasing more titles in Region 3. So that would be Southeast Asia for Spongebob. So we started getting all sorts of uh, more recent DVDs just without the special features and that's one of the reasons why I do not collect the region 3 DVDs at least I didn't try to collect them from 28 onwards because the US versions were inherently better right so I'm glad I didn't bother collecting them because I really do not have a lot of space as you saw earlier that entire uh, collection is massive and you know I don't live in like a like a mansion or anything all of these DVDs CDs VCDs and music CDs are all stored well in various like cabinets here in my room so you know where space is a premium you gotta just pick out the best stuff and uh, hold on to those right so we are getting to the end here unfortunately i do have a crack in the sponge buddies vcd but yeah so that is that fun club spongebob of course classic episodes finally bikini bottom bash for good time tales i do like the art on this one though so yeah we got house party hall monitor i had an accident and valentine's day Ooh, yeah so this um case also has a broken disc holder so yeah unfortunate but again these titles i all got between 2005 and 2006 so the fact that they are still holding up like that pretty impressive but that is basically the 13 spongebob vcds that i have in my collection and honestly the number is never really going to change from here on out so moving on to region 3 dvds now i always divide this DVD portion into Region 3 as well as Region 1, 2, and 4 together because Region 3 DVDs are not distributed by Paramount Home Entertainment or at least they weren't back in the day anyways. Uh, they were never distributed by Paramount Home Entertainment. However, Region 2, 4, as well as of course Region 1 DVDs were. So uh, they are in a distinct category here. I have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of them. And again, this collection will not be expanding or shrinking anytime soon. First off, we've got the very first um, SpongeBob DVD that was released in Region 3 in 2005. You can also see the Hong Kong distributor over there and the contents basically the disc looks really simple nothing to write home about but this here is the very first Spongebob episode DVD that was released in region 3 here spine on the back and of course it's not too surprising because the very first bunch of DVD that was released in the United States was this title as well just in 2002 and of course the disc here is different from the US release there are no special features but it does kind of copy the Metropolis DVD uh, it does say nicksplant.com that was the name of the Nickelodeon website for the website for Nickelodeon Asia back in 2005 2006 so moving on to 2006 here sea stories was uh, the first DVD that was released with this kind of design copy over from the United States DVDs. And yeah, Sea Stories, really memorable DVD because, I don't know, Jellyfish Jam back in the day was epic, hooky, and Shanghai, of course. So now with a whole bunch more SpongeBob episodes to watch from over from 13 seasons, you know, those episodes 
not necessarily my favorites anymore, but still very classic. Okay, Halloween. So this is also has a couple of special features. It was released at the same time Sea Stories were Sea Stories was, and my favorite, of course, Band Geeks. Uh, inside there, this simple disc. You notice the distributor of these DVDs was this company called HVN. And I don't even know if they are still around nowadays, but they certainly do not produce SpongeBob DVDs in Region 3 any longer. All right, so Seascape Capers. Also in 2006, I got SpongeBob Christmas, nine merry episodes. And you know, it's always fun to see what the difference is between the Region 3 and Region 1 releases are. But yeah, the Region 3 releases were always a step down. Okay, in 2007, I got this sponge guard on duty and uh, it looks kind of like the US edition just without the special features. I believe there were like storyboards or something on this, but yeah, we actually have a copy of the US sponge guard on duty that I'll be showing you guys later. It's still sealed way from way back in 2014. Now, Sponge for Hire, I got in 2007. This was released in 2006, however. So yeah, classic episode, Krabby Land camping episode. Wet painters. Basically, this um, bunch of episodes from season three are some of the most classic from season three, in my opinion. Sponge for hire. All right. Next up, we've got a collection, holiday cruise collection. This was a region three exclusive, but honestly, it was just basically four VCD titles put into one DVD. Perhaps one day I'll just pop this in and show you guys what what it actually is like inside, but not for this video because we are. Kind of short in time. I'm trying to move through the the entire collection as soon as possible, so we don't end up with a one hour fifteen minute video, just like we did for 2021's edition of this DVD collection. Fear of a Krabby Patty and the following one, Bikini Bottom Adventures, were released in 2009. As I said, you know they started releasing more titles with this unusual design because Fear of a Krabby Patty was not did not look like this in regions one two and four it did not they basically had the same format as the post 2007 dvds and um put the same artwork on it so yeah so like this bikini bottom adventures this kind of matched or the dvd title matched the original um, outline or style on the case art but not fear of krabby patty all right and finally Underwater Stories, Bikini Bottom Adventures, Sea Stories, and Tales from the Deep. This is kind of a, a pseudo predecessor of what we now know as Triple Packs because this was literally three DVDs stored on one DVD disc. We got Bikini Bottom Adventures, Sea Stories, Tales from the Deep. You can see now the website says nickasia.com. Till this day, I'm recording this March 30th, 2022. The Nick Asia website is still not accessible in Asia. It just re redirects you to the Australian page, which is, which is kind of weird. But anyways, now let's get into the region one, two, and four DVDs. We start off with the first portion of this region one, two, and four DVD collection. And I call this section the original section. This is the OG bunch of SpongeBob DVDs and actually two Fairly Odd Parents DVDs that you see here that I got in physical stores here in, well, Southeast Asia or Singapore specifically. But at that point in time, you know, Region 1 DVDs or SpongeBob were really hard to come by. They were not a common sight at all. So this bunch of DVDs back in the day really cost me quite a lot or cost my parents quite a lot. So we will slowly go through these or at least relatively slowly as opposed to the others because these are all unboxed. They're all unsealed. The first one I ever got in terms of region one DVDs was season five, volume one. And now it seems like it's going to start raining outside. So apologies if you guys hear any thunder in the background. Anyways, we are going to be speeding through slightly slower here. So let's take a look at what's inside. We have quite a few inserts in these older DVDs advertisement for SpongeBob DVDs as well as the letter there. Pause and read if you guys want to. And then we had the uh, this is the back um, artwork that I never understood why they never just printed it on the back of the box and put a leaflet inside instead. But yeah, so that's what it is. Then we got some security code. All right. And then the disc themselves, of course, this is disc one, disc two, and then on the other side. So yeah, this one got it in February of 2008. And when I got it, 
I was so stoked. I remember it was the first day of Chinese New Year or、uh, Lunar New Year back in 2008, and you know this cost 59 Singapore dollars. I don't even know what the exchange rate was back then, but、uh, that was definitely pricey, and it was basically a reward for some good grades or something. <laughs> so yeah, and、uh, later that year I got season four, volume one. This has really cool artwork. It's it's embossed, or in a sense, lenticular. It also, in a sense, not really lenticular. Only this portion is. But yeah, season four, volume one, released in twenty oh six. You can see a little bit of damage there. But yeah, really like this one because my favorite episode from season four is undoubtedly Krusty Towers. I've shared that with you guys before on previous DVD review videos or DVD collection videos. And creature from the Krusty Krab. If you guys don't know what my favorite video game for SpongeBob is, this is it. All right. So yeah, I did a video game collection video last year. If you guys missed it, if you are interested in SpongeBob video games or just generally interested in SpongeBob collections, do check out that video. I do not intend to make a replacement video for that until at least 2023. At least you know, Cosmic Shake has got to be released. First, before I do another one, because I think I didn't really add anything to collection at all since I did that video. So there really isn't any point in doing a 2022 edition of 2022. Yeah, 2022 edition of that video. But anyways, we move on to the very first SpongeBob single DVD. I've told this story many times. This is the first print of SpongeBob's Pest of the West, and I got it for like. Thirty nine dollars back then, yeah. Thirty nine dollars for a DVD is crazy nowadays. Like, there no one's gonna pay that. But、uh, unfortunately, there is water damage on it. And、uh, Pest of the West, one of my favorite episodes from season five.、Uh, we do have the insert there. That I, I think I'm just gonna show you guys the inserts in all the DVDs that I do have unboxed because that is something that really made、uh, US DVDs or Region One DVDs special in my view. That they were so different from the Region Three DVDs, were which were which looked like they were hastily put together without any care or concern. You know, it was just kind of like trying to push stuff out. This one, twenty nine dollars. Actually, was wait a minute, no, this was thirty nine. The Pest of the West was twenty nine. Yeah, so I'm getting a little bit mixed up here, but this one was cool because I got it 12 or 13 days after release in the United States. The first time ever I got it so quickly. So I showed this in last year's video as well. The Lost and Found My Prizes game. Always a cool thing to look back at the products back in the day. You can see, aside from the SpongeBob DVDs, we had the Lego SpongeBob Rocket, Globs of Doom, which doesn't look like that in reality. Game of Life SpongeBob、uh, stickers, looking fine. So yeah, really cool stuff back in the day. Now I didn't really collect much of the products aside from SpongeBob books, which you see on this advertisement right here. So I do have the stickers, a seal, and the Lost and Found My Prizes promo. But yeah, so aside from SpongeBob DVDs, I have a huge book collection, SpongeBob book collection that I was building up between 2005. That was when I first became a SpongeBob fan. You know, started finding those,、um, what do you call it? The VCDs, yeah. So the VCDs、uh, drove me to want to. The VCDs drove me to want to check out more SpongeBob stuff, and you know, I managed to find SpongeBob books at a local bookstore, pretty big one as well. So yeah, here is the advertisement in there and the stuff on the letter. So I also think this year's video is actually less overexposed than last year's. I'm,、um, you know, let me let me know in the comments box below, but I. Just looking from the viewfinder here, or at least on the screen of the iPhone, it looks way better than what it did、uh, last year. I apologize for the quality in last year's video. I was trying to do it real quick, and you notice、um, it kind of went up mostly on April first. Since I love this artwork, by the way, the showdown at high noon. Yeah, so、um, SpongeHenge, <laughs> love the that little tune, that little song that. Was without words as well, but yeah. So this is season five, volume two. I was talking about how this was a item that I used for show and tell back when I was fifth. I was in fifth grade, so you know, lots of memories there. Let me just tell you guys a story again. So I was writing the script for this with my parents, and 
Uh, this cost me, it was my birthday present in 2008, I believe. Yeah, 2008. And I was writing the script with my parents for show and tell for this thing in early 2009. Man, it's so many great memories of that um, season five, volume two. The first more classic SpongeBob DVD, uh, that single DVD that I added a collection, Home Sweet Pineapple, you can still see price tag residue. Uh, yeah, but this was definitely brandy when I bought it. And it also had some content from SpongeBob Exposed, which was my very first SpongeBob book. Yeah, very first one. I remember picking up at a book, picking it up at a book fair, and totally destroying it. Like part of it, the you know the little holographic lenticular portion of SpongeBob came off, and yeah, it was totally destroyed. I kind of uh, regret doing that to it, but you know I was a kid. What do you expect from a kid, right? Kids can be expected to keep things in a minty, fresh condition, and I certainly didn't buck that trend until at least in fifth grade or sixth grade <laughs> when I started thinking of hey you know actually I should keep some of these stuff sealed because um, they are available in the season box sets and I don't really need to see what use them to watch Spongebob but they're still really important to have in the collection so this fairly up here in scary godparents DVD if you guys remember from previous years I always mentioned the story behind this one this was basically found at a DVD store. It's called HMV, originated in the United Kingdom. If you guys are from the United Kingdom, maybe even Ireland, you will know what HMV is. I'm not even sure if they're still going on. I know they had stores in Hong Kong and in the United Kingdom, but they kind of died down uh, after a while. So yeah, but anyways, moving on, we have two square pants or not two square pants. This is one of the newer generation DVDs, but still part of my OG bunch of US DVDs. So really cool. I do have a sealed copy of this that I got from Walmart when I was in the United States back in 2017. This has my one of my favorite DVD artworks by far, Truth or Square. And this the simple reason look at how beautiful the texture the you know the kind of parchment paper and on the back here with a different art style of course it only had five episodes but you know this dvd itself even if the episodes episodes inside weren't great i love the dvd artwork uh no inserts here we just have the silver disc i did forgot i, I forgot to mention that the Spongebob DVDs started transitioning over to the silver disc in 2008 with Who Bought What Pants. But you guys probably know that already if you are a Spongebob DVD enthusiast. Now, Fairy Idol is one that I got from HMV as well. We got a Nickelodeon magazine advertisement there as well as the insert for more Nickelodeon DVDs including Avatar The Last Airbender, we got a Scary Godparents one, and then Nick Picks 123 Jimmy Timmy Power Hour. Lost in Time, Where's Gary? Both of which we will be uh, showing shortly. All right, so that's Fairy Idol. I haven't popped this into a DVD player for at least a decade, so I don't even know whether it works, but I presume it should. SpongeBob SquarePants Christmas also picked up this in 2009. This is the final one I got in 2009, also from HMV. And yeah, I don't think I've actually mentioned where I got these before. I always said like a local DVD store, but yeah, that store nowadays, uh, now, you know, I am officially revealing was HMV. Okay, so that's SpongeBob Christmas. And then the final DVD that I consider part of the OG collection was Complete Second Season. This was from another store called Gramophone, uh, along with Home Sweet Pineapple, Season 5, Volume 1, Season 4, Volume 1, Pest of the West, Who Bought What Pants, and yeah, those DVDs. So that store is out of business. It was out of business a long time ago. This cost me 59 Singapore dollars as well, which again, I have no idea what the exchange rate would be nowadays, but removing it, we have another beautiful slipcover case. Is that what you call it, slipcover case or inner slip case or something inner box uh, with the characters from the second season all right and then of course we had volume or not volumes this one two and three you can see all of them there with slightly different artworks we've got wormy mermaid man barnacle boy and hatch slinging slasher so disc one these were the episodes and then quickly inside here 
that is that. And we do have the artwork there. Now, just looking at this is I realized one thing I have never shown in a DVD collection, uh, in one of these DVD collections before. Chinese language, SpongeBob. VCDs, actually. So, yeah, um, now that I've just realized that, if you guys are interested, I will do a separate video for that because I don't really consider that something I really like having in my collection. Honestly, those Chinese language SpongeBob VCDs always felt like they were kind of bootleg to me. But, you know, yeah, I do have those in uh, a cabinet way far further in. And uh, if you guys are interested in seeing that, of course, uh, I could do a video for that later in the year. But yeah, so, wow, I completely, I totally forgot those actually existed in my collection because those were from, I believe, 2007. 2007, now I'm re reminiscing, I'm recalling how I actually got those at a store in Singapore. So yeah, the, these DVDs are the OG portion. All right, so the next segment of 22 titles, a, a discovery of e-commerce. Okay, so this segment uh, has DVDs that originated from this time period between 2010 to 2013. Now this, actually, this stack here is actually the later portion. So I have another stack here, which is slightly shorter and let's get through it uh, real quick here. A fewer number of these are actually unsealed. So let's get into the first one, Nick X. So absorbing favorites, nine underwater favorites here. Okay, and those are the episodes, Bikini Bottom Personality Quiz, Rip Pants Karaoke. Now I was quite un uh, disappointed when I got this title because it didn't have that little insert there. I do have another copy of Absorbing Favorites, which I purchased at Walmart um, on another trip to the United States. But yeah, so these titles were from 2010 and I got Absorbing Favorites along with the complete first season DVD box set. You can see the little leaflet on the back there. It used to be, you know, stuck to this little pineapple on the back, but yeah. PG, rated PG in Canada. Let's focus there. So yeah, I know the lighting is a little bit darker now because uh, the sky is dark. It's gonna rain, I think. Hall monitor on disc one. You can see the spine there. And the episodes, uh, we have the Plankton cast commentaries as well as the letter in here, which again, I will show you to you guys. So pause wherever you wanna read every time. And on the back, we just have a cool uh, artwork of the cover art as well as proof of purchase so yeah interesting how this was in a recyclable case you know usually only the older ones have the leaflet but yeah this one was a newer print but still had that little leaflet so for season one honestly I, I don't really you know like it too much it is iconic because it's where Spongebob got its start but I mean Personally, my only favorite episode in season one is Rock Bottom and to a certain extent, uh, Help Wanted because that is the pilot, right? So this three has the majority of the special features as well as, again, my favorite season one episode, Rock Bottom. Until 2007, Rock Bottom was my favorite SpongeBob episode. Now I don't even know what my favorite is. I just have so many that I actually like, including Rock Bottom, but it's hard to say, oh, you know, this is 100% the one I like the most. So yeah, unfortunately, this box is not really holding up. As you can see, it's kind of like wearing out a little bit, but I am not so worried about that. I don't really need to take it out that often and use it anyways. So next up, we go have The Great Patty Caper. We are moving now into March, 2011. This was the era when I was uh, ordering three DVDs every time a new DVD came out. So this was the first one in a bunch of three from March, 2011. And inside, we do not have any insert, but just a great patty caper disc, all right? So along with this, I got two others, right? This first of which is sealed Atlantis Corpantis. It is still sealed. I happen to believe that this is a first print because it does have the seal on the top. And I believe after 2007, they didn't really do the security device and close thing on the side, but I could be wrong. They could have still done that until like at least 2008. All right, because remember in the Pest of the, or Who Bought What Pens DVD, I think there were a couple of stickers there. So yeah, this may not be the very first print, but it's still really cool. And I remember borrowing this from the library. I really like the artwork as well. So, you know, the funny thing is that 
the True Four Square DVD and the Atlantis Corpantis DVDs have some of my favorite DVD artwork uh, in the entire collection. But of course, I think public opinion is kind of against those episodes, uh, those specific episodes, not the DVDs. So special features, and this is the US edition only, no Canadian rating on, on it at all. So yeah, season three. Now moving on to June of 2011. We got Sealed, Sponge, Sealed, Nautical Nonsense, and Sponge Buddies. Now this, definitely not the first print because it doesn't have the seal on the side there, but on the top it does. And then Spine, Bottom, and Back. So yeah, probably should bring these in a little bit more so you guys can read the back if you guys are new to this. But I think most of you aren't. <laughs> All right, and we got Heroes of Bikini Bottom. This one was the new release for June of 2011 with a couple more season seven episodes. So yeah, and Tough Puppy on the special features always kind of uh, felt weird, honestly. But we do have a insert here of a video game that I do now have both versions on. I have, I always had the Wii you draw edition but uh last year we got the google pants 3d edition for 3ds so if you guys are interested in video games i have a whole playlist of spongebob video games on the channel i think i will list link it in the description box below but if not it's on the channel so the last one in june 2011 lost at sea Unfortunately, as you can see, the plastic has ripped a little bit. I have no idea how that happened. This has been in the cabinet for as long as I can remember. So yeah, uh, Lost at Sea was a combination of the Sponge Who Could Fly and Anchors Away videos or VHS releases. And then moving on to November. So this time I actually got two only and I remember it was a huge box. If you guys actually want to go back to our mail day video for this in 2011, you will see that box. Uh, it was huge for just two titles. Complete seven season over nine hours of Spongebob hilarity. I also really like this artwork because it had so many characters on it. And then on the back, uh, this was what it said, 2009 to 2011. All right, so, you know, we're kind of in the era now where special features are more of the exception rather than the norm here um, as compared to the earlier years of Spongebob DVDs. I also have Lost in Time. Now, this comes in the white case originally, and I was pretty glad that it did come in the white case when it came. <laughs> so it does come in the black case as well, like Karate Island, but um, I was really, I really wanted one with the white case because that was how it was originally released. I never understood why they did the white case for the 2006 single episode releases or single DVD releases, but you know, I'll take it. It looks cool. I mean, uh, with some variety, right? So SpongeBob Ghost Prehistoric was the first of three I got in January of 2012. Uh, the promo sticker from Walmart is not from this DVD originally. It was from, I think, maybe Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or I think it was a SpongeBob Blu-ray, SpongeBob movie Blu-ray that I sold off because I had an extra copy. So SpongeBob's Frozen Face Off is the new one for, well, what was it? Fall 20? Uh, it was. It came before, oh no, January, I think. It was January 2012 and had these episodes in it with Fanboy and Chum Chum and Tough Puppy. Never understood that either. But yeah, so no insert in here, unfortunately. The next one, I also kind of like the artwork, Runaway Road Trip. Uh, I do have Legends of Bikini Bottom that I should technically insert before all of these began, before, uh, right after season one. But again, I never brought it back from my grandma's house. It's still there. <laughs> and it's the only DVD I can watch at my grandma's house. But come on, I'm, I'm old enough to be able to use streaming services now. So yeah, and streaming services were not really a thing back in the day, you know. So very different. I also got the, what was it called? Surf and Skate Road Trip uh, DS game. But cover that in the video game collection last year. Okay, first 100 episodes. This was the very first SpongeBob DVD that I actually got for free. Now, the definition of free is basically no out-of-pocket cost. And how I got it was basically through Amazon gift cards. Uh, back in 2012, there were a whole bunch of, you know, these kind of apps that allow you to download apps and try them. Now you get points and then, you know, you accumulate those points and 
you can redeem them for rewards like Amazon gift cards. I'm not sure if those things still exist or are very prominent nowadays. I have stopped using them because, you know, I can finance my purchases in other ways now. But yeah, back in those days when I was like in seventh or eighth grade, you know, free stuff uh, for the channel was really important because, yeah, I was a kid trying to make YouTube videos and, <laughs> you know, I didn't want to keep making my parents uh, pay for all of these, especially, you know, YouTube, sometimes you think of just entertainment and I really do these videos just for fun to share the joy of SpongeBob with you guys. But at a certain point, you know, a lot of these things that I do in videos or products that I do review, do cost quite a bit of money and you know especially now I, I can pay for them myself because of just how i earn money not on the channel even I, I just make money and i use some of that money just for fun i buy stuff like you know okay not this this was from way long ago but yeah i can i can buy my own stuff now and just show it on video you know share the joy with you guys as well so yeah we're, we're just speeding through 100 first hundred episodes uh, really nice set I do not have the glass cover but you know it's okay <laughs> I'm, I'm not craving for the glass cover or anything it's uh it's good to have but you know I already have this I'm not gonna buy another copy of it just to try to find the glass cover because that would be uneconomical okay so that was 2012 and by the way this cost uh, $34.99 back then. I had a $50 Amazon gift card that I got pretty easily. So that's why, you know, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the mail day video back then, but I was super stoked to actually get that. It was unbelievable. I actually got something for free just by downloading apps and, and collecting points and then deleting those apps. A sealed copy of Sponge, It's a SpongeBob Christmas. This came in from, I think, that same... Um, DVD source along with some others actually come to think of it now this stack actually is not in order so the Tales from the Deep DVD uh, the complete fourth season so this DVD here I'm just gonna show it to you guys real quick see it is sealed but it's kind of like uh, okay there is a tear on it and the case is uh, dinged up along with complete fourth season uh, this was the re-release of course, Complete Fourth Season only existed along with Complete Fifth Season and Sixth Season in 2012 onwards. But yeah, so these three came in along with a iCarly Season 2 Volume 3 DVD that I actually sold off a couple years ago. So yeah, that was that. Fanboy and Chum Chum was the only... Uh, okay, actually, these two were the only DVDs that I bought in store during that period uh, in Singapore. So this one, I think was $20. I'm not even sure why I bought it. I think it was just because of the novelty of seeing a Nickelodeon uh, Paramount Home Entertainment DVD released on the shelves in a local store. And then we have, again, from HMV. This was released in 2010. I only got it in 2012. And uh, 10 Happiest Moments. This is not the Walmart edition. You can tell what the Walmart edition is by seeing the Nickelodeon logo. It has the original, like, 2000 uh 2009 splat so yeah but this one has the modern nickelodeon logo which is kind of still used today now on the dvds there is a box that the nickelodeon logo is in but basically you get the idea what i'm talking about here okay so let's see i think we're all good here and I can move on to the last couple of these. In 2012, I had the opportunity to uh, visit Melbourne, Australia for a uh, year-end vacation in December of 2012. And this was the only item, SpongeBob item that I picked up, I think. Uh, it's the SpongeBob Christmas. This comes in a orange case of which many SpongeBob Australian DVDs did come in. So now that I think of it, actually I'm missing one. I should have included this earlier. Also right before the absorbing or right after the season one DVD box set. So I'll get to that right now. It is season six, the complete collection. Now this I got on a trip to Perth, Australia back in 2010. So sorry, I totally forgot about this one. But yeah, it was really cool because this actually includes all the episodes from season six. It's basically a compilation of seasons six volume one season six volume two and even though the case is orange you can see that there are the episode descriptions inside the case art so i'm not sure why they did that i mean 
with the orange case and all, but kind of strange. Nonetheless, that is the Australian release. Moving on to 2013, Extreme Karate came in the mail. This is the second time I ordered from Amazon. I ordered this along with the next release, but they came separately because this, I believe, came in uh, January or February of 2013. So it had the first couple of season nine episodes. I believe Extreme Spots, score a record. So yeah, and a couple of season eight ones as well. Extreme Karate, no special features, unfortunately. And then finally, the complete eighth season, which came out at the end of 2013. But uh, I do have to say that actually there's a couple more from 2013. So it's not actually the final one. But nonetheless, uh, yeah, the case here is actually broken. As you can see, it's uh, very flimsy. So I don't want to break it like totally. But yeah, just to be real gentle here, there are the episode uh, summaries in there as well. So we do have a couple more stretching into early 2014. So let's get over. Let's take a look at some of these as well. So I'm just gonna tip these over on the side here. And these two DVDs I got on my very first vacation to the United States. That was the very first time I went to the United States. It was on Delta Airlines, sparked the interest in airlines for me. And uh, these two I got at Walmart. The first one, Sponge Before Hire, Eight Wet and Wacky Tales. So now with the lighting, uh, being less bright by natural daylight. It's kind of harder to focus on these, but nonetheless, I will show all of them. You can even see the Walmart sticker from March 2013. Uh, I went there in June of 2013, by the way. It has the yellow case, so really, really nice. And then on the back, you can see all of that there. Okay, so then in the fall of 2013, I picked up these two. So these two were from Amazon.com along with a couple of those vinyl keychains, if you guys remember what those are. So we have Sea Stories, 10 Waterlogged Tales, okay? And then Season 4, Volume 2. Now you might have been wondering, hey, didn't you just show like Season 4 a complete collection earlier? Yes, I did, but this was a great deal, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Season 4, Volume 2. I'm, I'm glad I picked this up because this would have become slightly hard to find. Uh, the most common volume sets are Season 5, Volume 1, Volume 2, as well as Season 4, Volume 1. So yeah, uh, picked that up from Amazon. Also from HMV, you can even see the sticker there, HMV 1990. I got another copy of It's a Spongebob Christmas. This is the US edition as well. And I will not be opening it because I just showed you guys earlier what it looks like uh, on the other copy. Okay, so 2014. Now these two I have to talk about together because they, these two came in real in a very interesting fashion. Uh, both of these were $4.99 each and shipping was like $10 US dollars. So it was pretty insane that I could get like brand new and sealed uh, copies of Friend or Foe and SpongeBob's Lost Stand, which by that time were already getting, you know, becoming rare in terms of trying to find brand new and sealed copies. So very interesting that uh, that deal was available. It was on eBay, I remember very vividly. <laughs> and uh, these were the only two that they had that I needed for the collection. They didn't have like Viking size adventures or Triton's Revenge even at that point, which is quite interesting because those two DVDs were released in 2010. So yeah, now this brings part number two of our DVD collection to a close. Let's head over to part three is the buying bonanza this period took place from 2014 or at the end of 2014 all the way till 2016 and i have a total of like 30 odd uh releases or titles that i have to show you guys this is the first of two stacks by the way so we're gonna go through these rapid fire here i have to speed things up because i really don't want this video to be as long as last year's one so the australian titles are as follows deep sea games i got in sydney australia at a big w if you guys australian viewers you will know what that is we got spongicus from jb hi-fi this was three for 20 so i picked up three and surprisingly we got spongicus we got truth or square which uh i like the u.s edition artwork a little bit more compared to this freezer freezer one but yeah uh, still decent. And then we've got To Love a Patty. Now, the reason why I picked up 
Spongy Cousin 2 Love of Patty was because at that point in time I didn't have the Region 1 releases for those. I also picked up Legend of Korra Book 2 Spirits which I still have not unsealed because it's a Region 4 DVD I don't really intend to watch it. Okay so now we get into the height of the buying bonanza. So basically in 2015 I went all out, 2014-2015 um, I went all out in buying Spongebob DVDs off Amazon.com to basically fill out the collection. The first of which, Spongebob Scary Pants Collection Halloween DVD 2-pack. This contains Gold Fools and Halloween. So the new print of Halloween with the new artwork as well. So yeah, just basically it's a compilation of both of those and it's great that it's in an extra slip cover. Okay, so now we move on to more of them. Okay, so also in the same purchase from Amazon.com, Where is Gary? Now, this is a um, sealed title, but it doesn't have the original seal. I found one on eBay with the original 2005 like sticker. It's so cool, but I just don't want to spend extra money because I already have one of it. I don't need to. But always cool to see those vintage first print versions. Karate Island, unfortunately, is not in a white case, but I've never really bothered because I feel like the only ones that... Um, are more iconic in the white case of Krusty Towers, by the way. The more iconic ones in white cases are Lost in Time and Will of a Birthday, which I do, both of which have in the white case. So Sponge Guard on Duty, this is the one with all of the seals back uh, here. I was quite surprised when I found this from Amazon. Uh, it does. It, this was not a photo on Amazon, but it showed up as is. So that's pretty cool. And it's very hefty as well. So I assume that the manuals and so, uh, not manuals, the inserts are all in there. And then also s complete sixth season. This one was unfortunately broken right off the gate right out of the gate. Uh, it's basically a compilation, just like the Australian one of uh, Season 6 Volume 1, Season 6 Volume 2, but now with the new gray disc skin. Okay, so that is that. Now let's take a look at the next bunch. So in the next order, I had Patrick Squarepants. This was a, a new series, SpongeBob and Friends, that they never bothered to expand. So they didn't have like one for Sandy, one for Squidward, and so on. 2014. All right, so this one I did unseal on a video back in the day. Then we have Tide and Seek. This one, no seal on top, but I mean, uh, sticker seal, but it is sealed. All right, so released in 2003. Also released in 2003, Tells from the Deep. Showed you guys this earlier, but uh, this was a slightly better condition copy that I just picked up. I think it was like $4.99, so uh, since I was already paying for shipping, might as well. This one I actually quite like, although this is a very controversial episode. SpongeBob, you're fired, and it even has the little sticker for a free movie ticket for SpongeBob Movie 2. All right, so that is that. Moving on to 2015's first new release, The Pilot, a mini movie and the square shorts. They released this in preparation for the second movie, Sponge Out of Water. And honestly, this is one of the most underwhelming SpongeBob DVDs of all time. It just has True Four Square, Help Wanted, and 42 Shorts, which uh, I don't know if you guys are really interested in that. I watched them once, and then I was just like, okay, I don't need to watch it again. But yeah, SpongeBob Movie Sponge Out of Water 3D. I got the 3D set here, so Blu-ray 3D. And then on the back, um, let's take a look on the cardboard slipcover is also pretty similar. And then opening this up, we do have the Blu-ray disc. We have the, oh wait, no, this is the Blu-ray 3D disc, the Blu-ray disc and the DVD disc. Also, there's a couple of inserts here. We've got the Spongetastic toys. I have two of these because I actually had another one, uh, another one of these, but yeah. So, and also the download code for Sponge. Spongebob movie, Sponge Out of Water. Okie dokie. So putting that back in. Closing that up. So um, you might have realized I didn't really carry on talking about the prices that I paid for these. For one simple reason. These have mostly all gone down in price or just went out of stock. So it's either you can't find them anymore, like the older ones, or you can find them but kind of at higher prices or uh, yeah, because you know, these are all order titles. We have Sponge for Hire again, as well as Seascape Capers. I bought this lot just for the Seascape Capers, by the way. So yeah. All right, so that's the first out of 
two stacks here. Next up, we've got this bunch. So let's just put these to the side again. Okay, we're, we're still in 2015, by the way. So first up, Spongicus. Now this came in along with the Seascape Capers 2-pack. Spongicus uh, does have the seal, uh, sticker seal on it. And I really like um, Suction Cup Symphony. Only for the symphony portion. The, the rest of the episode was just cringe. <laughs> but yeah, okay. We also have To Love a Patty. Alright, unsurprising, I told you guys again I didn't have this originally, but I purchased it off Amazon. And then this is one of my favorites, Whale of a Birthday in the White Case. So unfortunately the disc is disc lodged. Get it? Disc lodged? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, um, yeah, but it has this really cool Nick Arcade game trial. I'm not sure if that still works, because I'm not sure if the data is loaded onto the DVD disc or does it just link you to Nick Arcade because Nick Arcade was a really cool place and till this day there's one game that I still un am un unable to locate that is the Nick Arcade Truth or Square PC game if you guys played it when it was first released that game was so cool it was basically a board game uh, based around truth or square. So, you know, one day if they find, if someone finds it and puts it up, um, well, we gotta do a video on that. Or maybe someone already has, I just haven't checked, right? Okay, so the next two, two for 20, these were my first Region 2 DVDs, uh, Triton's Revenge and SpongeBob and the Big Wave. It's titled differently in the United States, but these are the UK editions. All right, so nothing too crazily special there. This is the USA edition, SpongeBob versus the big one. That's the spine. I also kind of like this uh, DVD artwork, uh, you know, that different art style as well. You know, I miss the days when they had these kind of very art styles. So we are now, oh, actually we are already in 2017. So this one I actually got in 2017. This along with this, both I got from Walmart during a trip to the United States. That's, that was my third visit to the United States back in December of 2017. So you can see there, it's in the 374 bin. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that still exists now. Absorbing favorites and Hey Arnold, uh, nothing too special there. Okay, and then this was from 2018. So Legend of Bukini Bottom was 2018 or 2017. I mean, does say 2017, I'm totally not sure. <laughs> I did do a unboxing video for this. I uh, put it back in the case because this DVD is useless. It only has one episode, The Legend of Bukini Bottom and some behind the scenes featurettes. But seriously, it's kind of useless. There's no reason to get it aside from, you know, adding it to your collection. And I'm kind of disappointed with myself that I actually removed the seal on it because there is no way I'll ever take that out again. Uh, Fear of a Krabby Patty is one of my favorites as well. It is sealed and um, has the side sticker. Although it does seem like the side sticker is cut, so perhaps they opened it to put in a security device of some sort. But yeah, Fear of a Krabby Patty, one of those that I borrowed from the library back in 2006. And you know, I really like this DVD for some reason. Maybe it's just because it has the first bunch, uh, first pair of season four DVDs or season four episodes. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's it's a long video, guys. <laughs> okay, let's speed through the rest of these. Triple Pack, Viking Size Adventure, Sponge of the Lost Stand, Trident's Revenge. Okay, we also have from Walmart. Oh, oh, okay, so I'm kind of going in wrong uh, in the wrong order here. So this was from 2016. Um, I remember buying this in the Walmart in Bloomington, Minnesota. And this SpongeBob Christmas DVD I got in the Paramount Studios gift shop. It was the only SpongeBob thing they had there. I wasted $20. Okay, it was $19.99, but $19.99 on this? I would have never done that if that was priced at a Walmart. <laughs> uh, you could get this for like $7.88 at a Walmart back in the day. Okay, so October 2016 as well. Uh, yeah, but it was same trip, Nick Picks holiday. Uh, and we have from 2017, complete ninth season. Was it 2017? Yeah, 2017. So let's take a look at this real quick. It does have the episode list on the back, which I thought was really helpful, unlike season seven and eight. Uh, but it doesn't have the episode synopsis in the inside. So they took one thing away, they added one thing more. So one step forward, one step back. 
<laughs> if you want to call it that. Uh, I also got SpongeBob SquarePants movie Blu-ray, and it's still sealed. I have never had a reason to open this, but yeah. So this is part three of the collection. Um, what did I even call it? The Buying Bonanza. Yeah, the Buying Bonanza. So now we bring it brings us to part four, the final portion of this video. In fact, before our summary, that is the modern day. Well. I need to show you guys something that's not so modern. <laughs> so in 2017, I did go to Tokyo, Japan. I picked up, I picked up one of these uh, Japanese SpongeBob DVDs. You can see the side is kind of faded, but uh, I just wanted a memorabilia from in terms of SpongeBob stuff from Japan when I was there in 2017. So this was from Book Off. I believe it was like two dollars or two to three dollars for this. It was really cheap, anyways. Sorry about hitting the camera there. Uh, and then lastly. Uh, my parents did pick this up from Hong Kong. It's actually the Australian version of the SpongeBob movie Blu-ray. So never opened it, but yeah. Uh, now let's get into the modern day proper. So I have slightly more, almost like 15 of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen of them that we are going to go through, including the latest one, which I just did a video for about two weeks ago. So let's start from slightly earlier all right we we begin with bikini bottom adventures you might have you might remember this um unboxing video uh i kind of regret it un unboxing but the wrapper was in really bad shape so it was really did not make a difference whether i kept it sealed or uh you know unboxed it or not which was kind of disappointing but anyways we also have the next 100 episodes now these were all 2019 this was released for the 20th anniversary of Spongebob. All right, so, yep, the next 100 episodes. Still sealed, never opened it. Reason being, I already have seasons six, seven, eight, and nine all on individual DVDs, so there's really no point in opening another one. However, season 10 was one that I did open, so kind of cool graphic there. Uh, I did keep the sticker, or actually I think it was already stuck there because the seal is only on the inner case. So good thing they had the episode list just like season nine again, but again, no episode synopsis list on the inside. So season nine, season 10, uh, DVD collections, basically the same thing, uh, unfortunately. We then move on to season 11. This one I did not uh, unseal because just look at it. I was not gonna keep a used copy like that. <laughs> I've always planned to buy another copy, but never got to it just because why bother? Uh, but also really nice artwork, not the SpongeBob and Patrick, but the background there. So all the doodles and all that. And then we have no episode list. And if you look on the inside, actually there is the episode list on the inside. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but yes, there are the episodes and notices and list in the inside. So I guess they kind of improved there, but you know, again, they gave us one thing, they took away one thing else. Okay, Bikini Bottom Bash. This was released in the same year as 11th season, I believe 2020. Yeah, 2020, and I remember getting it in the mail. Unfortunately, because that at the, this was procured at the height of the pandemic, so I had to ship this through a freight forwarder instead of getting it direct from Amazon was kind of frustrating. But yeah, so this was the first compilation DVD in a really long time. SpongeBob Musical Live on Stage, new to DVD. I still have this sealed. I already watched the musical on iTunes, so didn't need to unbox the DVD. And I know, you know, I don't have the Blu-ray version of this, but I don't really count that as a missing title because um, it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, so next up, complete 12th season. So the spine and then on the back looks kind of like the season 11 uh, for back summary and it's still sealed. Why? Because I have it on iTunes. <laughs> Maybe that's just the thing about iTunes, you know, it kind of renders all of these obsolete until iTunes no longer exists in which then all these DVDs will come into play again. Okay, so this is the SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Run Blu-ray. I picked this up, of course, at the end of 2020, I think. When did this even come out? I don't even remember. Oh wait, no, this is the DVD disc. This is the Blu-ray disc. You see, 
uh, in such a long video, <laughs> this kind of thing takes a toll on me as well. All right, we're getting to the end, guys, because we are now moving into 2021. So in 2021, I remember the ver this very vividly, Season 6, Volume 1, it is still sealed in really good condition. It even says disc made in Mexico. And then on the bottom there, so yeah. I also got this, uh, if you guys remember, this video that I did for free Spongebob Japanese DVD. So if I said I only had one Spongebob Japanese DVD earlier, that's kind of wrong, because now I have this. It's a sealed copy of season one, uh, complete. You know, it's brand new, sealed, as you can see. It even has a sticker with the price there. So. Yeah, I was super stoked to find this for free and add it to the collection. I've never unboxed it and I probably never will. Okay, then we go on to Triton's Revenge. Uh, this was another one I bought off eBay last year. And yeah, what else can I say? It was long awaited. It was supposed to be added to the collection way earlier, but I waited till last year. Viking Size Adventures as well. We also had a little sticker there. I tried getting ones with the seal. Unfortunately, Triton's Revenge didn't come with a seal, but it did come with the promo stickers. So, you know, I, I assumed that the seal thing was obsolete. They stopped doing that at some point in 2010. But yeah, so Viking Size Adventures. And then this year, 2022. Season 6, Volume 2. If you missed out our mail day from earlier in the year, go check it out. In fact, it was actually just earlier this month. Yeah, <laughs> so not too long ago, huh? I Also, this was bought off eBay. Uh, I'm glad to add that to the collection. Kind of completed a collection just by buying this and adding to the collection. And of course, once Camp Coral Season 1, Volume 1 came out, we had that come in uh, as soon as possible with UPS. And I did a video for this last week. At least... You know, if you're watching this on March 31st, it would have been last week, but or maybe two weeks ago. But yeah, you get what I mean. So that is basically the entire collection. A whole look at it. Hope you guys enjoyed the look. Now let's quickly summarize and I'll end up the video. Collection breakdown. First off, 80 Region 1 DVDs and Blu-rays, 1 Region 1 VHS and SpongeBob Christmas, which I did show in my holiday haul video back in 2015, but I still have not been able to locate it. I have no idea which cabinet it is in. I don't really have that much free time to go look for it, so yeah, just know that it exists. Four Region 2 DVDs in the Trident's Revenge and SpongeBob and the Big Wave DVD from the UK, as well as Sea Stories and the complete first season sealed box set from Japan, and 13 Region 3 video CDs, 12 Region 3 DVDs, 7 Region 4 DVDs and Blu-rays, 6 Spongebob music album CDs, and one more if you count the digital It's a Spongebob Christmas album. So that brings our total to 103 Spongebob DVDs and Blu-rays, or 104 if you counted Legends of Bikini Bottom, which is still stuck at my grandma's house, <laughs> and 13 Spongebob VCDs, 1 Spongebob VHS, and 6 music CDs, or 7 if you count the digital one. So total including other Nickelodeon DVDs, actually that just changes the total number of DVDs to 108. Everything else remains the same. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment box below how close you are to completing your SpongeBob DVD collection. I'd love to know. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. Keep it right here on Out of SpongeBob 101. The next edition of this series will be coming in 2024. I'm not gonna make an exception for 2023 again, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video because it's gonna be the last one for our DVD collection until 2024. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next SpongeBob video. Bye!